Hello friends, today in this video I will tell you about a very important notification of Assam Public Service Commission. So if you are a resident of Assam, you really need to watch this video and it is for you that there are so many posts of SDO and JE that are out. So have a look. So guys, this is the official notification of Assam Public Service Commission that was this advertisement was released on 19th November 2019. So uh, there are two different posts in this notification. So we will talk about the first post name of the post. As you can see, it is assistant engineer civil and the department is PWD public works department. The total number of posts are 156. So 156 number of posts are really very high. 156 posts, it is a golden chance for you to become a SDO or assistant engineer. As you can see the name of the post, these are the different categories. Name of the post is assistant engineer, assistant engineer civil for open category 63 and reserved for women are 19 for OBC and MOBC category it is 52 for SC category there is no post in assistant engineer but in junior engineer there are posts for all the categories for STP it is 13 STH 12 EWS 16 and the total number of posts is 156 out of which 48 are reserved for women so I will tell you the basic details of this notification the next important point is scale scale of pay so the pay scale again the basic is 30,000 to 110,000 and the pay band 4 with a grade pay of 12,700 plus other allowances. So the eligibility criteria, the candidate must be a permanent resident of Assam. So this implies that for Assam students, it is really a good opportunity since other students from all other states will not be eligible to apply this to apply for these posts. So you have to produce a PRC that means permanent resident certificate. Next we will talk about uh, the educational qualification uh, as uh, pretty obvious that you have to be a civil engineer. You have to hold a B.Tech or a B.E. degree in civil engineering. And as you can see that degrees obtained through distance mode of education will not be acceptable. So you have to have a full time degree. Next, we will go to the age age criteria. You can be 21 years of age. The minimum age is 21 years. And the important point to be noted is as on this date, 1st January 2019, the minimum age is 21 and maximum is 38. And there are relaxation criteria for different. Uh, you can read out for SCST five years. So the highest age goes up to 43. So likewise, for general category, you have to remember it is 21 and you should and 21 years of age should be attained on 1st January of this year. The next post is that of junior engineer, junior engineer civil. You can again see this is again for civil engineer, again in the same department, public works department and the total number of posts is 307. So for a state like Assam, 307 is real big number 307 if you are a civil engineer and if you have completed your BTEC from Assam and if you are a permanent resident of Assam now is the opportunity to become a junior engineer or a civil engineer so next we will see the different categories uh, you can see junior engineer civil under PWD for open categories the total number of posts are 126 out of which reserved for women is 38 and uh, similarly OBC SC SC has a reservation for junior engineer and STP 31 STH EWS is again 31 so the total number comes out to be 307 out of which 92 are reserved for women next we will move to the pay scale pay scale for a junior engineer 
पे स्केल इज फोर्टीन थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड टू फोर्टी नाइन थाउजेंड दिस इज द बेसिक पे पे बैंड टू विद ग्रेड पे ऑफ एटी सेवन हंड्रेड रुपीज एंड प्लस अदर अलाउंसेज एज यूजल सो द एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया इज द कैंडिडेट्स मस्ट बी अ परमानेंट रेजिडेंट ऑफ आसाम अगेन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग If you are a permanent resident of Assam, you can apply for this post. You have to produce ERC. Educational qualification is that you should possess a three-year diploma course in civil engineering. Uh, in case you are a final year student, also then also I recommend you to apply for it because by the time joining will come, you need to show your provisional degree or your final degree. Next. we will move to the age criteria age criteria remains the same it is 21 years on 1st january of 2019 and the upper limit is 38 years only so there are the same kind of relaxation given for all the categories now next we move to how to apply so this is not uh, an online application process this is going to be an offline application process uh, as you can read the candidate should carefully carefully go through the terms and conditions of the advertisement so you can have a look this is the official website of assam public service commission dot nic dot in the last date is 21st december this you should remember this is the last date 21st december 2019 so i hope uh, all the serious students must have applied by now or in case you have not applied this is an offline process so you have to send the copy so this is the last date of receiving duly filled up application form in the commission's office it is fixed 21 december so next as of now the commission has not uh, opened about the exact examination uh, pattern but still if we read this point you can see that the commission will take a screening test which will be a written test as well as a viva voce interview so uh, we gen we hope that they, it will be a three stage process first prelims and then mains and then interview just like engineering services examination so you have to enclose a particular set of list so if you are really applying you have to you should read this uh, pdf form uh, the application fees there are different application fees for different categories for for general category it is rupees 250 for sc st obc and mobc it is 150 so if you are uh, if you can show a bpl certificate then there is no fees at all so the fees is to be deposited through a treasury chalan only so uh, you cannot uh, submit a demand draft neither you can do it by neft or rtgs so this is the only mode you have to submit the fees through a treasury chalan in the head of account this so and original copy of treasury chalan should be submitted along with this application form so next we'll move up to how to fill up this form so you have to have one uh, copy of recent photograph uh, self attested copies of all the mark sheets of all the mark sheets and uh, all the certificates you have to self attest yourself this this is self attested so these are the different uh, different set of documents that you have to send original treasury chalan age proof certificate certificates and mark sheets of all the examinations caste certificate wherever necessary disability certificate wherever necessary two copies of recent passport size photograph two copies and uh, signature scanned copies to be uploaded then uh, experience certificates wherever necessary and bpl certificate if you can provide so the next is uh, self attested photocopy should be tagged so this is underlined self attested photocopy should be tagged properly without any chance of getting lost during transit the commission will not be responsible for any such loss so these are the standard lines incomplete application in terms of advertisement will be summarily rejected no documents will be entertained thereafter 
so these are points to be noted the candidates before applying for the post should ensure that they fulfill all the eligibility requirements in this line you can see that the commission wants to take uh, this line if on verification at any time or at any stage before or after the preliminary examination which is the screening examination or means or written examination and then interview so this line shows that the commission is intending to take a three stage examination so next we can see that it is for the candidates themselves to see whether they satisfy the prescribed physical requirements okay no request for withdrawal yeah that is there at any stage of the selection process no candidate shall be allowed to change his or her category okay uh, then we come to point 5 and point 6 the candidates who furnish wrong erroneous or incorrect information in their application form may be disqualified okay that is also standard in case of detection of any false declaration his or her candidature will be rejected and this direct recruitment process you can see the selection procedure will be notified later by issuing a corrigendum or addendum the commission will decide the provision for selection in respect of any posts or services considering the status cadre and grade so the list of candidates whose applications are found valid or rejected after scrutiny will be made available on this website uh, so we will recommend you to visit this website regularly for the latest updates so the advertisements are issued on the basis of draft advertisements sent by the government so this is the official notification by APSC that was recently released so uh, stay tuned with us because we will uh, we will also be giving you the daily news about this particular job update and we will also notify about different jobs all over India for all the above states so in case if you like the video do not forget to subscribe our channel and press the bell button icon because we will soon be launching the total course for this particular examination so in case if you are from Assam this is really a golden opportunity for you and we will help you in achieving this goal thank you very much for watching this video